I would like to share with you guys that happened on Sunday. I am coming from American Dreams Do Come True Network, and this is Community Good News. We have a lot of um, lot of things that are happening around us, and uh, the Lord just really highlighted something um, so significant in my life that I want to share it with you because I believe that there are many of you out there that need to be encouraged. Sunday morning, um, I had my family members that was here and they were leaving with my three grandkids to return back home uh, in South Carolina. And as I was praying for my grandson, um, I hugged him and just began to declare the word of God over him. And I just began to pray over Judah. When I was done praying for Judah, Judah took my hands and put them into his hands and Judah began to pray for me. Judah began to pray scripture. He began to uh, make declarations over me and literally prophetically pray for his grandma Gwen. And so um, as I was driving to the sanctuary for church on Sunday, the Lord highlighted that situation with, G with Judah and um, he likened it until, unto the well that Abraham and Isaac dug um, for nourishment for themselves, their family, their community, and the people around them that would go to the well to dig. And this is how the Lord highlighted it. So he reminded me of the scripture in John chapter 4, when Jesus went to the well looking for a drink with the Samaritan woman. And the Samaritan woman uh, asked Jesus, was he greater than her father, Jacob, who gave her this well? And so the Lord just um, reminded me how that, like Abraham and Isaac, um, I and, and um, generations before me um, have dug wells so that my little Judah could do what he did on Sunday. Uh, so Judah is a part of that well, and he'll drink out of that well that my genealogy dug, but also the well that I've been digging for my children and my children's children's children into a thousand generation. How did the Lord highlight this to me was saying, you know, she mentioned Jacob, and uh, so that well was a well that had been dug long before the Samaritan woman and the community around her was drinking. We know that Jesus is that well, right? And so I got to drink out of the well as I listened to my grandson Judah pray over me. It was because uh, that baby uh, had been drinking out of the well of life, the well of the gospel whether it's in Sunday school, it's been at home with his parents. Uh, he's heard them have conversations because they have Bible study. They have home groups. Um, and so the Lord just wanted to encourage those of you that are out there. See, when Abraham dug the well, uh, that well, by the time Jacob, Isaac came around, had been stopped up um, by the Philistines. And, you know, there's probably been many things that you have poured out into your community, into your family, pastors, grandmas, grandfathers, moms, auntie, you know, the neighborhood um, uh, army of people that have poured into your family. And maybe you may have a son or a daughter or a grandson or even relatives that's not walking with the Lord. I want you to be like Isaac, where those wells have been um, stopped with many different uh, things that people have gone through in their lives. You go and you uh, declutter in your prayer time, in your declaration, in your prophesying over your family, in your warring, uh, a good warfare over those members. You go and you redig those wells because I was able to drink out of a well. And I believe there's going to come a day that because I've stood, I've prayed, I've prophesied, I've declared the word of the Lord, and I'm standing upon the promises of God, that there will be many generations within my uh, genealogy, within my um, 
children's 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 family that they'll say that they are drinking out of the well that they Grammy, that their grandpa, that they pops, that their auntie, that their grandmother and their mom and dad and relatives dug for them. And it's that gospel well, because that well is the well that will nourish not only your family, but it will nourish the community. Because think about this, as you pour into your children the truth of God's word, right? Then others will be able to come out and drink of their well because I know there are going to come days where my grandbabies are going to release the word of the Lord and others will come and drink. When that young man began to pray over his Grammy at six years old and declare the word of the Lord, I tell you, God highlighted that thing and I want to encourage you parents, don't give up, don't give in, keep digging, Keep digging a deep, deep well because deep, deep water is going to rescue those that need to be rescued in your family line. God bless you. Remember, this is community good news on American Dreams Do Come True Global Network. Let me pray for you. Father, I just thank you that even as you highlighted young Judah being part of my well, that I've dug, and even his pops and his other grandparents, his father's parents and the other grandparents have dug, that Judah will be a well that others will come and drink from. And Lord, they'll drink of the truth of your word, the gospel truth that's being poured into Judah. And I thank you that not only Judah, but Lord, those that are watching this, their their uh, grandkids and their children's children's children will drink out of the wells that their families are standing in and digging and prophesying and praying and decreeing and declaring and warring over. Father, just like um, in the Bible where it told uh, one of the disciples to, uh, to wage a good world warfare over the prophecies that his grandmother and his mother Lord um, uh, spoke over and declared over his life. So Father, I thank you, Lord, for encouraging many that will watch this in Jesus' name.